Spiky bits. Hey everybody, MBG here with just a quick hobby showcase. Uh, today I'm showing off my Castellan Stronghold uh, Roma Battle Board from uh, back in December, I guess, they, de these came out. And uh, I, I picked up one of them and had some issues with it and got, got in touch with Forge World and they sent me a new one, which was really nice and I super appreciate it. But uh, still not 100% satisfied with the quality of it and I'll, I'll kind of try to show you some of it here as we take a look. Uh, but it's it, it's a great piece and you know I think if you have a Roma battle board you know you can basically you know just kind of lock it in and uh, switch it out if you have more of these things you can have one in each corner of the of the tabletop which is which is always fun so it's a uh, it's a hard it's it's kind of like a hard resiny uh, uh, back underneath to it as you can kind of see there some uh, some overspray from some of the paint like I said I I got LaForge World and they actually sent me another one, which was really nice, and I had it painted up. But you might be able to see here on these vents, um, it, we had a hard time getting the uh, getting the mold release off. I think they used some sort of crazy aerosol, and it just uh, it just didn't work so well. It it was very hard to get off. We had to literally scrub it with uh, with dish pan uh, dish pan. Uh, scrubbers just to just to get it get down to the actual surface of the resin itself so it was a little it was a little daunting but we got it done and, and i and i think it really looks good uh this was painted by uh, master shake uh, kelsey a buddy of mine here uh locally in uh, richmond we'll kind of zoom in and show you some of the stuff here now the i mean it's a it's a great it's a great model and it has rules on the tabletop like there's basically uh four shields that protect to give you a, a cover save you know in the in the openings here um, you can kind of see, like basically, like right here, and then right up here, and there, and there. When they're not like positioned together, uh, you can always you have these hard points where you can fix uh, weapon emplacements too. And there's, I don't know if this is an, uh, an a legal configuration if you're trying to take it, but um, I just I just kind of pop some of my uh, my old my old ones on there just to just for looksies. But you know, it's a it's a cool kit. It's got plenty of detail. Uh, it's got lots of room on it. You know, you can see there. That's that's two Rhino chassis parked on it. That uh, plenty of room. Uh, I guess in one of the pictures there was a Storm Eagle. I've seen a Thunderhawk parked in one of these things. Very cool stuff. The detail is definitely reminiscent of you know some sort of a Stardis vehicle. There's a control tower. Uh, these the tops here actually come off, and there's air vents. Uh, which is really cool, but again, you know, if you want to pay the points to to field it like that, uh, it's it's really neat. Now, from from looking down at it, you can kind of see where there's uh, there's some different. I guess basically they they install this on the battlefield uh, in sections, and you can see here where basically the sections that bulkhead piece right there. The sections are basically clamped together on the battlefield. And then lock together in the center here uh, with this uh, octagonal kind of interface look, lock breach thing. And then there's of course ha different hatches and fuel hoses and all sorts of you know different ramparts and places where you can put put your troops and things like that right there. I had a 2,000 point army that I could easily fit on this uh, on this board, and it was uh, super nice to carry around. It's just a little big. It's a two by two square. So you want to have something to actually put it on if you're going to a tournament because not a lot of tournaments uh, tournaments can actually you know have that much free space. A lot of them you know are just at hotels or whatever, and it's uh, very hard to uh, to have that kind of free space there. So definitely bring something to, to actually place this on and keep an eye on it and things like that. But it's it's a great piece. Uh, definitely be be very wary when you, if you get one of these things. You definitely want to scrub it down very good with some Dawn, something that cuts grease. Uh, because whatever mobile release they're using, it's just, it's just very difficult to work with. So uh, that's pretty much it for this one. Make sure you stay in the trenches. Uh, subscribe to this YouTube channel. Check out the blog, spikybitsblog.com. And listen to our podcast, forgenarrative.com. Spiky Bits.